Hey there, everybody. How are you? Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I'm sitting in the airport in Baltimore. I'm getting ready to do a, I'm headed to Cincinnati to do a comedy show with my awesome friends, Sally Bauke and Rhonda Corey. We're going to be doing a show tomorrow night. It's going to be so much fun. But hey, I just saw something in the airport when I left Detroit and I wanted to share it with you. I was boarding the plane and the gate agent um, was, somebody had handed him a journal and he was flipping through it to try to find the owner's name. And there was no markings at all. And actually I love it because the journal said something like, strength is the new pretty or something. But as he was flipping through, I was sitting right by him and I could see that it was just filled with knowledge and things were highlighted and circled and there was so much wisdom in that journal from the person that lost it and it made me feel so sad at first like oh my gosh when they realize this is gone they are going to feel heartbroken but then during the flight i thought of a connection for us as women there was no name written in that journal and if it had been we, the person would have been able to identify who it belonged to. So I started thinking, the value and the wisdom that we collect in our life, do we name it and claim it? Do we put our names all over that? Do we call that something valuable that is ours or do we overlook it and maybe take it for granted? Do we use our gifts? Do we label our gifts as our own and, and, and put our name on it and just place so much value on it because we know that we can use it in the future and it really is something that shouldn't be taken for granted. It's something that really does belong to us and when we own it and name it and claim it, we can never ever, that can never be taken away from us and we could never lose it. And then the other thought that came to mind is, um, the wisdom, the, it, just the wisdom and the gifts and um, uh, let's see, what was it? I wrote it down in who we are causing this. Uh, there is just so much value in everything that we collect. And the, the cool thing is if, 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 if her name would have been in it, they could have reconnected her with her journal. So it made me think about us and I'm always talking about women in our tribe. So if we have women in our tribe that can help remind us of the wisdom and the value that we lose, if we feel like we've lost it, we have women in our life that can redirect us and help us reconnect with all that wisdom and knowledge and the gifts if we have lost them for a short period of time. So there were just so many connections that came to my mind when I saw that journal. I'm going to post a picture of it in the comments below. And it just really struck my heart um, to think about this person. But you know what? Maybe since she lost it, somebody else will have their hands on it and there'll be a lot of wisdom that they can glean from all that she's collected. But the message today for us as women is to just take our value, take our wisdom, name it and claim it, and then you know have that ability to share it with the world and share whatever it is because what we do possess is so valuable, just as valuable as that um, as that journal was to her. So I'm just gonna read these comments. Uh, this is a cool airport here in Baltimore. I'm sitting in a rocking chair, just watching the planes. I guess I should check and see what time it is so that I don't have to uh, catch a different flight. But oh, it's so good to see everybody. Oh my gosh, oh, I love it. I love you guys, you guys are, oh, Rhonda Corey just said Marlo. And it's funny because she's just catching a flight from Philadelphia and we are meeting in Cincinnati to do our comedy show tomorrow. If you guys live, near Cincinnati, come and see us. We're gonna be at Funny Bones, and it's gonna be a blast. Sally Bauke, Rhonda Corey, myself, we're just gonna be having ladies night and hopefully making some women laugh. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, Kate, yes, okay, I emailed you. I look forward to hearing from you, so exciting. All right, you guys, I love seeing, um, I can't see you, but I love seeing your names on there, and uh, I just thought that was a powerful message. Just name it and claim it, your value, your wisdom is so valuable, don't, ever let go of it, put your name all over it and use it and find people that can help redirect you back to what you know is true about you. Your wisdom, your value, have people that you trust that can help you reconnect. Okay, I will talk to all of you later. I'll see you later, bye-bye.